Okay, this is an experiment showing a 25 millimeter bell siphon operating from a very tiny pump. Let's see, that's the water inlet. And as you can see, there's two pump. Uh, the bigger pump is switched off. The pump on the right, which is the smaller one, is about 7.7 .7 watt. That's roughly around 400 liter per hour. Uh, roughly around uh, slightly more than 100 gallon per hour. Flow rate. And uh, the bigger pump require water divider. That means the bigger pump can supply two grow bit or two siphon. And the smaller one, that's the smallest pump that's available. Uh, that's the Aqua 500 series, which deliver around 400 liter per hour. It works, but I don't really recommend that small pump. It's really at the age of uh, siphon operation. If the pump is clogged or after some time there will be uh, debris stuck in the pump water flow will be reduced this is just to show that uh, even with a very small water inlet you can start this siphon the 25 millimeter side it's about to start Okay, that's the siphon starting and with that amount of water there's no problem in cutting off Okay, the siphon cut off. Uh, let's uh, try the bigger pump now. Let's switch off the small pump. Let's give it a full water flow. Because uh, otherwise we have to wait for a long time. This, uh, as you can see, this siphon, uh, the height of the standpipe and to the bell is roughly around four or five inches or more uh, difference. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, it still works because that siphon is uh, for a 12 inch grow bit. I can put the extender to make it higher. Okay, it's dropping to make it higher and. Uh, just before you reach the top, uh, overflow will just uh, bypass a bit of water. But this is a bit too much. It's about 1,800 liter per hour. It's just divided in two, roughly around 9,000, uh, sorry, 900 liter per hour. Just divide it roughly in two. The bigger pump is about 1800 liter per hour. So, compared to the smaller pump, it's uh, roughly close to four times the small pump capacity
Apple should be starting out about uh, about that level because it's not that high water. I'm testing out this uh, siphon again for my new set in, uh, that I'm going to make. Uh, it will be using a uh, grow bit which is bigger than this trial gold grow bit. Two of the grow bit will be on top of this uh, water tank uh, using a metal frame. Yeah, what, the siphon is just about to start. Okay, siphon cut off, put that water in. I just switch on the pump for a while. Switch it off. Okay, uh, that pump is a bit uh, quite high, so we divide it into two. So roughly that pump will deliver around 900 liter per hour. And the smaller pump will supply around 400 liter per hour. That smaller pump. This is uh, quite small. Uh, after the division into two, the supply is around 900 liter per hour because the total capacity of the pump is about 1850 liter per hour. I've tested this siphon with a higher rating pump. On my previous installation, what I did is uh, someone gave me a 3000 liter per hour pump, and uh, what I did is just divide the flow into two without any use without any ball valve use uh, to restrict just a straight uh, T uh, division into two to uh, provide the water flow into two grow bit so at 3000 liter per hour pump and uh, roughly around three feet high uh, water water head and uh, it will be able to supply two grow bit without any problem of water cutting off from the siphon so as you can see this uh, uh, siphon with the reducer can tolerate a broad margin of uh, water inflow uh, roughly I can safely say roughly from 400 liter per hour to roughly around 1500 liter per hour it's best to choose a pump which is somewhere in between so that uh, as uh, the pump age or as you switch around the pump you tend to get clogged the higher the capacity you provide the less chances for it to to fail in the sense that water reduction is is uh, minimal so that's it it's just a simple uh, re-demonstration of what I've done for the last few years uh, this installation is I'm doing for my new set that I'm going to built you know, over the next uh, few weeks it's some time for the metal frame to be fabricated okay bye thanks